So if you have any questions, what I mean by questions, with your, with your equipment, you know, if you have any technical questions, uh, well, if, if we can't uh, answer them now, we'll write them down and we'll try and find out what, you know, if you need assistance, if you have any ideas about your equipment, it, you know, anything you want to discuss, or any gripes you have, please bring them up now. That's it? Okay. Anybody want to do a show and show and sell? Anybody want to do a presentation or that you, you have know, something have, to have sell? Have a day you could uh, you know, show and tell. That's what I'm thinking show of. Show and Sorry. tell. We have a show and tell coming up. We haven't had one for like a year and a half. Anybody want to do a show and tell? You gotta raise your hand higher. Raise your hand. Oh, I just have an idea. Go for it. Um, oh, okay. yeah. I've been looking into solar pretty good lately. Can we get whoever did that a year or whatever ago back up here to give a presentation? I did one. Oh, was this hard was it hard to try find I think I, did, I think I did one last year on my <coughs> solar solution. I've learned a lot since then. Big. I'm thinking yeah. moderate, you know, for radio, not for house. Are you talking about house type? Okay, that's a whole different animal. Grid. You want to buy them or you want to build your own? Or? I want to build my own. Okay, I can give you information on that. <coughs> Does anybody know about using Tesla battery pack? Yeah, they're very good. You, you mean the, the uh, power wall? You talk I about? can get them for about 13. My neighbor's got five. 1,300? You mean the power wall? No, 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 no. Each cell in that big old pack in the car yeah. is $1,300, yeah. and it's 4.5 to 5 kW per cell. So I want to so, know is, how many of them cells do I actually need if I want to run my whole house? I yeah. cannot find that nowhere. You don't want to use the Teslas, because they're special. They, you want to use the standard, like the Samsung or the Panasonic. Cells, uh, Tesla sells a Unit for the house. Well, that's the power wall. Yeah, buy the buy the whole unit. Don't buy the packs because you can't get a, a battery hey, management system for it. Sounds like a presentation coming on here. The short yeah. story is today most of the people do a 48 volt system, sometimes 90, and then they use inverters to get it up to what you need, like your 120 AC. Yeah, I, I know all that, but I just the batteries and the that's a yeah, that's a power system problem. Yes, I've had a solar system now for ten years. It's five feet oh. old. Yeah, uh, and I'll stop. I'll stop talking if you want me to now. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Thank you. Now, who was asking the question? Mike. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, Dave. Want, you see mine. You've been in my house. I haven't seen your panels, no. The panel? Uh, there's 22 of them up there. And I had it put on by Solar City. That's, and then, you know, Tesla bought them. Right. Yeah. And I have, see, that's plus, plus, plus. I haven't paid dime. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that came out when we put them up. Like, he and Mike both haven't put up. Yeah. And I prepaid my lease mm -hmm. as opposed to buying them. Because I bought it, then I was responsible for it. Right. If I leased it, they were responsible for it. And sure enough, mm -hmm. they've come out a couple of times to replace this, to fix that, or whatever. And they do monitor, <coughs> excuse me, they do monitor it online. Yeah. So anytime they want to, and I'm sure they just skip all through it and they see who's doing what to what. And if it's going down, they'll call you up and say, can we come by tomorrow or next week or whatever. So that's a pretty nice thing. Again, that's the Tesla thing nowadays. They, oh, the important part of what you have to do, and really the most expensive part, is the inverter. Okay? Now, the inverter won't run, period, if there's not 100, 220 volts on the output because that's PG&E's or the utility company's rule, okay? We don't want power to go down and have it not go down. Oh, yeah. I want to run panels into a, a circuit breaker box, to the batteries, to that's all distribution. inverters, all that. 
This is you're talking distribution yeah. here now. Yeah. Or is there a utility company involved? No. Grid tie. Just wants a code over. We don't want grid tie. I want to get totally off okay. the grid. Legally, you're not allowed to, but I'm sure. I if I just switch off my main and build my own system. Well, I be we good. all did that. You know, we'll after you. Back the yeah. generator up, plug it in, and run the city. House. Will come after you. Yeah. Well, I don't. Just don't county. don't tell anyone. Don't have all to. I'm saying is don't shoot you you yourself. Don't have to and pay yeah. anything because if your meter's not. If your stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's true. There, there are issues. There are issues. Okay, we, okay. Uh, any more questions? Can, can I go back to the, what you had before when you were talking about rights or whatever? Yes. I haven't been here for a few months, but Greg was telling me that the 736 back there, somebody every time was twiddling with the wires. Remember that? We had an idea a few months ago of building an interface box so that you could have a... a rotary switch so that it would either be the stock condition so nobody had to go back there or they could have uh, plugs on this box so they could either leave it stock or plug into the box directly that way the wires would always be left proper. <coughs> has anyone talked about this since I um, nope. talked about it nothing really comes what he's talking about is the um, uh, 736 or the or the uh, 847, they have a signal link on them. Signal link? And that's, people unplug it and plug it in and forget to plug it back in or it gets messed up. So, but the only thing with the signal link, you've got to have, be compatible. Well, yeah, and they want to plug it into their computer. So if we can just use a switch like he's talking about to change it and you plug your USB into that and change, that way you don't have to unplug it from the radios and so forth. And then someone has to come in and he gets all frustrated because he's done it a hundred times already. Where's he at? <laughs> Back there. And and straighten it all out. And then he comes the next time he comes in, it's all messed up again. Why does anybody have to plug in their own computer when we have our computers here for the clubhouse? Uh, Maybe in their favorite logging. If you're running your there. logging. Oh, okay. Radio Deluxe, if you're running that, you load Mac will update your logs. Okay, so I'm sure. They were a group can get together and design something to accommodate yeah. that because it is getting frustrating. Even on field day last time, we couldn't get the damn digital mode up for hours because all the wires were all pulled out again. Uh, get it? Okay. One more thing on that 847. In the long term, we may want to consider getting another radio. It's a really nice radio, but it has one flaw that is enormous, and that is that. It only has one serial port, so you can use that to talk to remote control programs or the remote tuner. Now, she needs one too. Oh, you would like one? Well, I just want to make sure that everybody. Uh, has yeah, we got. I, I printed uh, 24 and left them at home. Want to do that, uh, so I printed another 18 here. <laughs> That's just there it is. All right. So if we don't want to look at question number one. How many questions are there? 35. 35. Yeah. Still about one a minute. <laughs> the answer for number one is B. Bravo. 30 minutes. Are you giving the answers now? Yeah. We haven't had a chance to fill it up. I can still one in time. Heist. Where are you working at? <laughs> All right, number two. Heist. 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 Oh, really? I'm the only one who's I'm an extra, and I didn't realize number two. <laughs> number two is Delta. Sorry, what 
Which, which one are you on? Number three. Sorry. Number three, which is what? Number three oh, is so Bravo. Yeah, right. Full power up on sixty. Mine is what's the maximum symbol rate for rating on two meter? Nineteen point six kilobaud. All right, number four. I have inside information on this one. Number four is Delta. Number five. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was the question on number four? It's one of six. There are six different questions everybody has. Which six versions. Yeah. Okay, so. so What's your question? The answer is going to be D? Yes. So what's your question, Neil? Four? On number four. Okay. Can you read it? I'm going to read my question. What is the minimum age that one must qualify as, oh, I misread that. Oh. My bad. Okay, let's look at number five. <coughs> <coughs> Well, see, this is just what you know, since you yeah. you're looking at it ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, how close are you to ready, or yeah. you need to develop this a way not, to make more time. This is procedure and rules, not technology. The technology procedure and rules yeah. is technician. Yeah. This is more technology. Uh, Extras, you better take the calculator. Operation and stuff. Yeah. Number five is B Bravo. Alright, we're going on to number six. Third party doesn't have to have lights, do they? Third party, no. But it also you have to have a third party agreement between the two countries. Yeah, it says third party's amateur license has been revoked and not reinstated. If you said Bravo is in four, right? Yes. For five. Mm -hmm. so that doesn't match up then if you don't need a license. Well, maybe it's differences since it's been revoked. Versus, it says a third party's amateur license has been revoked and not reinstated. In other words, it was taken from them. It just didn't expire. So it was probably pulled for them doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Yeah, but you don't need a license if you're using somebody else. That's but if that one individual, they lost their license due to rule infractions. Okay, I just broke it down, looks right. All right, number six. Number six is A, Alpha. Wow. That's it. I understand that. All right, number seven. Testing your knowledge there. Okay. 
been ham for a long time. I don't even know what you're talking about. I was in another room. Oh. <laughs> Round number eight. Just to catch you up, Dave, we have six different tests in here, but the answers are all the same. So people that just passed this general test definitely have the advantage over hands that have been hands for 40 years. Number eight is C. Charlie. Number nine, QRP, life is too short. Sorry, what was uh, My question is, what is QRP operation? So nine is Charlie. Number 10. Some terminology he's giving me. I tried to Not take her on a tea hunt, but the signal went away. Oh, she hid well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, if you can. <laughs> so, what are you on? 10? 10. 10 is C. Charlie. Alright, I'm looking at 11. Listen to the C B band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be C and B. This would be interesting. Which of the following antenna types most effective for skip communications on 40 meters during the day? I want to say right left hand circularly polarized antenna. 40 meter circularly polarized antenna mounted in the structure to hold that up. <laughs> 13 is B Bravo. I think your property would be good for that. <laughs> well, I want to hang an 80 meter Yagi on there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm serious. Good. Gigantic. Yeah. He's got a valley. I got a valley that's got 1,200 feet across. 
and 200 really? feet high. Oh, and an 80 meter Yagi pointed east there. So I've talked to my AM buddies in uh, yeah. the yeah. back east. Yeah, Australia. <laughs> no, it's going to be, well, yeah, it'll eventually get there. <laughs> How many times does that absorb it? <laughs> All right, 14. What is that flying in there? There is a zip line there. Yeah. Is there? My neighbor, the, the lady that owns the in-out restaurant, the billionaire lady, she's my neighbor. And she has this long zip line. Uh, That's crazy. Wait, zip lines some crazy. people saw that in here. I guess no, nobody's here that saw oh. it. Yeah, that's true. You saw it. Uh, Jim, Jim saw it. I, I won't do that or, or jump out of the airplane. Okay. 14 is A alpha. Oh. All right, I should have been able to answer this one. So mine was, what reading on the plate current meter of a vacuum tube RF power amplifier indicates the correct adjustment of the plate tuning control? I had it wrong. I just burned up my amplifier. <laughs> I have a tendency not to read all of the answers. No, I just got backwards. In. I, I read. I, oh, that's close enough. It's like reading the yeah. manual, right? You have to turn in your man card if you do this. Yeah. <laughs> all right, 15. D delta is 15. Oh, All right, going to 16. What I gotta do is go over and talk. Ooh, I got this one before. VHF, my VHF. Jeeps are handled at the airport. So, yeah. K. He knows the guy too. So they're in the. They're basically stuck. Sixteen is A alpha. One of them was talking about RF burn. I was out at San Ynez. They were trying to get ready for the bicycle ride out there. I had the coax in my hand. No big deal. But I had my thumb across the outside shield and the center conductor. I disabled the radio inside so they re-enabled and keyed up. Yeah. Yeah. VHR. And 50 watts. Yeah, you probably yeah, get I, burned I, with one watt. You know, <coughs> get feeling back for a couple years. Yeah. 16. 17. Oh, 17. There you are correct. No, absolutely 17. <coughs> Seventeen at D Delta. Eighteen. That's a stupid question. B. I tell you, the ones that have studied the most recent. Are you oh, studying for your general? Not yet. Yeah, but you're, you're getting them. 18 is B Bravo. So unless you know how much closer you actually are, don't stop studying. Keep going as far as you want to go. All right, 19. 18 is B Bravo. And what was 17? Delta. Nineteen is Delta. I always thought an ohm is a place where British Ham has his station. <laughs> you should do stand up. Right. Is OHM still logging into the uh, Gold Coast Net? Who? OHM. Oh, H -M. Yeah, his suffix is O H M. Ohm. Yeah. He was a young kid. Well, there wasn't. There was one with that. Yeah. I have. He's been around a long time. It's a shame. Go 
full cost. Yeah. Yeah. What percentage of power loss would result from a transmission line loss of only 1 dB? 20.5%. That's one fifth. So yeah. 20 is A alpha. Yeah. So it was less. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of this stuff, if you. These tests change a little bit each year. DB so, is a way to express large differences in small numbers. Yeah, it's just the ratio. It's logarithmic. Yeah. A. No, B. There's all the questions. There's all the answers. <laughs> 21 is B Bravo. 22. What? 21 is B Bravo? Yes. 22 okay. is B. What would you have? Yeah. The wrong answer. Yes. <laughs> wrong. What was your question? What is the turns ratio of a transformer used to match an audio amplifier having 600 ohm output impedance to a speaker having a 4 ohm impedance? Turns ratio? Yeah. It's the ratio of squared. Ah, that explains that. Five turns gives you a 25 to 1 impedance ratio. Looks like they're brand new. Nailed it. 22. What's that thing? 22 is B Bravo. Oh my goodness. What is the meant by the term R O M? Wrong. Many people know that one anymore. It's too old. Read only memory. Twenty-three is delta. All right. If you are looking at twenty-three, the, the symbols are in the back page. describes the function of a two input AND gate. Five is Charlie. In, in mine right here, if, uh, if Sean 
if anyone pretty much in here, except for someone studying, that, when did you get your license? Oh. Recently? No. Oh. Okay. So Jay probably would pick it out quicker because it's a good question. What is meant by the term software defined radio, SDR? Well, John. What's meant by it? Yeah, what is meant by the term software defined radio? I don't know what the answers would be. So, the radio uses crystals, computer interface, uh, software, uh, or simulate performance of a radio. So, it's actually a software interface. So, uh, 26 is C. So, that's why I'm kind of bringing these up because if you haven't been, if you've been a ham for so long and you haven't upgraded, you haven't looked at the test lately. How many people would actually, John, how long have you been a ham? Since 1965, 53 years. So, he's been a ham a year longer than I've been alive. <laughs> So I would actually, since I've only been a ham for like seven, eight years, something like that, I would have more of a chance to actually passing all the tests again. Things change. Even though I give a lot of ham tests, once in a while I'll take out the test they're taking, and I fail almost every one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, because some of the things have just changed yeah. in that time. Technology has changed, like <laughs> SDR, software yeah. defined radio, so that's relatively new. Versus two play. It current. would be especially true as a broadcast engineer because everything is oh, so different yeah, now. It, everything. And yeah. when I look at DMR, I was trained on 47. <laughs> um, I'm running out of time here. Twenty-seven Charlie. Twenty-eight. convolution. Sounds like the. You know, it's like mine. You know, the, you know I thought we could do each one of the question, uh, each one of the answers. What is another term for mixing of two RF signals? It could be a cancellation. But it's heterodyne. Yeah. But it could, in certain circumstances, be. You've got to read them all. B. B. Bravo. 29. Now here's one that's, you know, been. When did PSK come out? PSK? 80s, 90s? Oh, no, oh. 70s. They put it in the 70s. What, what does the number 31 represent in PSK 31? Oh, gosh. <laughs> the approximate <laughs> transmitted symbol rate. Yeah, it's a symbol rate. Yeah. Where it's JT 65, yeah. the 65 is not the symbol rate, it's the number of symbols, the number of tones. There's 65 yeah. individual tones. See, that's all procedure. I, I wouldn't know that. So you said it was C, the approximate transmit symbol rate? Yes. 29 is Charlie. 30. Yeah. Got it. 
Phil, I have, how does the feed point impedance of a half wave dipole antenna change as the antenna lowered below quarter wave above ground? We put up what we can, but you know, it steadily decreases. So 31 is delta. We put up what we can. This question is the opposite yes. of that. Here. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is, I have one with uh, gamma match, and that's one that I haven't kept my head wrapped around yet. Exactly what's going on there, the mechanics of it, and 32 is being bravo. Okay. What about your antenna hat? station applies with FCC RF exposure, if your neighbors complain or not. <laughs> if, if your uh, tiles off your roof fly off and can't hit your neighbor's house, don't worry about it. <laughs> when you need your transmitter, how many shingles do you lose? <laughs> 16. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. Because you still have to do your 15 word a minute uh, co test. Is it thir or is it 13? I think it's 13. Yeah. So, it's pretty easy to get your general, right? He's going to do the co test. Are you going to keep your, your advanced? That's actually kind of cool. You're one of the rare ones. Yeah, I need, I need to upgrade more. So, valid. 35, 35 is D delta. I, can honestly, I didn't pass. I can honestly say when I took the general exam, none of these questions were on it. Right. That's what I thought. I actually looked on the website to see if there's a the complex, the, the, question pool. The questions conversion. when I took the general test were much more in depth and complicated than these questions. The extra today these are, these was probably simple. more of a general today. And then the extra would have been, you got to know your stuff. you know, got to know this, got to know that. It's been, uh, quote unquote, dumbed down. So what are the here. type of uh, licenses? Are they, because I'm a novice. Let's start with a technician. Currently, there's can't technician. Jump forward. Yeah. So there's no longer a novice? novice? novice. novice. can be used. Novice license is still valid. Lots of novice license. It's like novice Neil license. that just left. Right. He's an advanced. They don't hand out advance anymore, but he's got a two by two, which is the advanced section uh, choice of uh, call yeah, signs. Yeah, call signs are kind of point right. in that direction. So but is right the now expert, there's uh, Morse code? I mean, so tell me, what are the, what is the... Morse code is no longer required. Okay. Anywhere. Oh, well, see, when I took the test, that was part yeah. of that. Well, I had to do 20 words a minute. Yeah. Morse code is required for commercial. But I think that was like expert. But there's, when I but was there's technician, general, and extra. Oh, that's what they're giving out now. Yeah. I don't do you think you want to do any. If you have one of the older licenses, it's still valid. 
commercial doesn't require No, but it's in your badge. You're still in only one of them is. So it is. Well, it's yeah, sure. Send sure. in the oh, day. I don't have it. I have a commercial license. The old telegraph is there. There's no lifetime license. There is no Navy for naval, for maritime. What if the commercial test is actually to where you are licensed to do maritime Morse code? Um, that's, that's there's one cool. of them. I can't remember six. Well, I hold a I hold a telegraph license. Yeah, that's what it is. Right, the they discontinued telegraph. that one, didn't they? What's that? They yeah. discontinued. They don't test for that no more. Oh yeah. Right. So oh, they still test for it. Yeah. I know it's you not called the general telegraph license, just like it's called the general radio okay. phone. I thought they discontinued. No, it's not yeah, because not of, discontinued. Uh, I can, I still have it. I still have the questions for it. I, I can still test for it. Yeah. Well, I thought that originally it was set up for the maritime, right? The yes. ships, yeah, but all that has been changed now. I don't think they require the operator on the ships. It's to have still it. available. They yeah, you can take it, but it's, it's still not there. Like, yeah, it's, it's not it's a still there. And it's still time. being given. Definitely stuff. guarantee. Okay. It. Nobody's <laughs> using it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no base or no yeah. land. I have the commercial stations have the other than the one of San Francisco. That's about the only one left. Well, he and they're not official. They you're going to be using it. Not official. They do. They do monitor 500 kilohertz and yeah. So, have fun. So, is, is the general basically uh, something that I need to upgrade to? Or, yeah. I mean, you can. what level of license do you have? I have a novice. Well, novice, you have to take them all now. You have, yeah, to, have to go. Novice doesn't grant you anything right. except to use the novice license right. as a novice. Right. So, you'll need to study the technician. technician. Then, well, the higher, the higher you the more, more privileges you have. Okay. You don't have the to take a, a technician. Yeah. Yes, you do. Uh huh. Oh, oh yeah. You have to take all of them. Yeah, you, you can do it in one sitting. You can do them all at once. Well, yeah, all right. That's what I did. I took the technician, the general. At yeah. The same time. yeah. You should oh. be able to take Oh, so you can. If you, you, can, you can. You can do multiple. You can do it in one yeah. sitting. Yeah. Yeah. One, yeah. one, yeah. one, one the, the technician first, and then the general second, and then the. Uh, well, let's not get crazy. That's true. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to get a hold of me. That's my what? program. Come one day, you'll have it. Well, what, you, what you do is take your general, take your or take your tech, take your general, no, and then the next one, John. You get your next study before your husband gets. But okay. once you take the two that day, no. go ahead and take your third one. Take your extra. Yeah. You make it lucky. I I I've had four over the yeah, years. Yeah, so taking all three. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I've had mine. That's what they always say. If you pass one, take the next one too. But you know, you may not pass my general. So well, try it. Keep close. Yeah, I did my general, and then at the same time I did the advance that they were giving him at that time. Yeah. And I passed without studying it. <laughs> okay. Take Frankie home here. So what do you do with this? What do you is want it, to do with this? Hey, John. Hey. John, you just meet here, is it? Because I remember, do you remember Paul Lishka? He's the one that I took. He's the one that. Paul Lishka. Uh, Ray. Ray. Ray.